Alright, so this is the flag audition that was streamed today. Um, I flipped this video for you guys so you don't have to do that type of work as you learn or as you review the work or learn the work. So the starting position is here. So whichever side that you see my flag on and whichever hand you see it in, you need to do the same hand. Right? So it might look like it's in my left hand, but that's to mimic so that you actually start in your right hand. Right? So make sure you mirror exactly what is happening in the video. So the flag is going to start over over. My right hand is at the tab by the silk. My left hand is at the crutch tip. And I'm starting with my elbows separated and I'm just finding this angle. So when you start it, your left hand stays down in this position where the flag is flat. I'm just lifting up the right arm so that I can create this nice diagonal, this seatbelt position with my flag. All right, and then throughout this entire phrase, uh, my feet are marking time, left, right, left, right, um, just in case we're traveling during this, all right? So the odd count's gonna be a left leg, the even count's gonna be a right leg, all right? So the first four counts, I'm gonna push up and over with my right arm, one, two, three, four. So my flag goes up on one, I'm pushing across on two, and my pole tucks behind me, so that way as I open up to the front, the crutch tip is behind me. And make sure the little nuances with the upper body, you want it to follow the flag. So I'm contracting on my left side, and then I come around and lift up as the flag opens up. So kind of let the body be magnetized to the silk so that we can add a little bit of more, a little bit of nuance and push and pull with the energy of your upper body. And not just spinning the flag, but dancing with the flag. Now from here, that's the first four counts. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna come up and around, five, six. My free arm goes to the upper 45. And then my flag, I have a full grip on it. So by count four, I have a nice loose grip, a mild grip on it. It's like holding it like a pencil. So fingertips and thumb are towards the crutch tip. And as I lift up five, six, I wrap my thumb and all of the fingers. So I have a full grip on it. And my free arm is lifting up with the flag. From here, I push around seven, eight. So now I'm in this position in T shape. Uh, both my arms are extended, my silk is down. Now from here, I pull around nine, ten. My silk goes to the back, but it goes in front of me. And then from here, I'm diving over to the front. My free arm goes up behind me. Grab, grab, 11, 12, right? So from here, I go 9, 10, 11, 12. I want to do a rotation of the wrist. As the flag goes up in front of me, and then my pull pulls up behind me, but I meet it at a right slant, right? This is count 12 where the grab is. And then from here, I do a pop toss, but it's a quarter less than a normal. So a normal pop toss is up, 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 squeeze, grabbing the right hand at the tab and the left hand at bottom tape. This one we're going to stop a quarter of a rotation, less, right? So my left hand will end up a tape within the silk, so a foot from the tab, and my right hand's going to end up splitting. So what that's going to look like is third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So you actually, your hands have a less distance to travel to catch this one, because as opposed to your left hand coming up and your right hand pushing down, now your left, right hand just comes and bends and stops in the top, and your left hand just scoops from under to stop the silk side. So that stuff, that first 16 from the beginning, we push up, one, down, two, three, four, five, rip, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So that part right here, we go up, up, down, 11, angle 12, squeeze, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And remember, don't forget to let the key moving even under your tosses. So that's the first 16. From here, I push around one, two, three, four. Use all the time to get to flat by four, and it's going all the way to the end zone. Now I open up to the front five, six, seven, eight. So as I open up, the flag goes to the front on five. I open to the back on six. My free arm is out, my left arm is out to the side. I open seven, so I find this T shape, break, and eight. Now I'm gonna end at a left flat on count eight. Both my arms are over, so my thumbs are towards each other, right? And the tab is in my left hand from there. From here, I do a chenille over my left shoulder or a turn, nine, 10, 11, 12. Four step turn, keep the flag in a space hold so that it's not bobbling. And I come up, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. That's uh, angle, 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 angle. So picture an X and you're gonna hit each leg on each count, but it's just a pass through. You don't wanna make it stagnant, make it nice and smooth. So from here, you're gonna do a robo, angle, 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 third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So that second 16 together from the catch the pop toss, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. You want to end with your left arm extending and your right leg pulling toward the right leg. Your right arm pulling towards your forehead. 
Now the next um, set, uh, from here we do a low cone in two counts. One and two. So you wanna push forward one, cross on one hand, you wanna open up on two, all right? So from here we go one and two. We do a vertical flip, three and four. Three and four. So you don't, um, the right arm doesn't really move, it just rotates. My left thumb is pushing up the flag. My right arm stays in front of my sternum or my chest. And then from here I let the flag fall to the right and I open up to money so that I can complete that rotation back to where it started. If you try to keep a full grip, you're not gonna get the flag where you need to and it's gonna distort your posture. So as you push up here, open up to money, just let the thumb do all the work for you. And then on four, you're gonna grab the tab with your left hand. You're gonna come back to that same angle that you started. Now from here on five, six, you're gonna turn over your right shoulder. Five, six. The flag does not move in relation to your body. this direction the entire time. Now once we arrive here, we're gonna reverse it. Push, all right? So my left hand is on the tab and I push up and over. On one, I dive down, it crosses my body. I'm turning over my right shoulder to the back. Now from here, I pull the flag up and I'm facing the back. My right hand changes to money on count four. Oop, it's telling me that I have low battery. Okay, there we go. So I switch my hand, my right hand to money on the bottom tape at four. All right, and that should be as soon as you pull up the silk. So I go up one, down two, three, and four. You have to switch it by four and grip it with your thumb. Now use your left thumb to pull down. And then as you pull down, your hand is gonna have a full tight squeeze on the pole. And then from there, that motion there, down up, that's what's gonna get the toss out. Now as you pull up, you wanna pull up 
up your release point as well, or your hand. All right, so from here, I'm going to pull up with my hand, all right? And as it comes down, I'm going to grab it with my right hand at the tape. Now, if you're still getting comfortable with um, J tosses, or these are, this is called a J toss because you should be making a J motion with your hand, or a crank toss. It has, all these tosses have multiple names. Um, you can always start with here, just working on getting the motion of the flag. So if you're working on a smaller toss, it can just go up, down. The thing you want to focus on is pulling your release point down and pulling it up, but you want to have your fingertips come straight up to the sky, all together on the blade hand, not jagged and broken, all right? So you want to think of pulling up because that's going to, your fingertips are going to tell you what direction the flag is going to go in. So from here, if I'm going to release too soon or have my fingertips this way, that's where my flag is going to go. If I hang on too long, if my fingertips go that way, it's going to, hit, it's going to stay in my arm too long and I have to chase it. Um, environmental circumstances, the wind is going to change that, so you're going to have to adjust as you get comfortable with that. But in a perfect world, if my fingertips went straight up, the flag goes straight up. All right. Now, version A is a half toss, up and down. All right. Version B and what is what the actual toss is going to be, is going to be up, up, catch. So from here, up, up, catch. You're going to catch at this angle in your right hand facing the back, still could be to the right side of your body. All right. Now from the catch, this is five, six, seven, eight. Your left hand's going to go on bottom tape, nine, ten. You're staying in your toaster and scooping. All right. So from the side, when I catch, it should be, you should see the least amount of the flag as possible to here. You don't want to end up pushing this way in front of you or behind you. You want to keep it beside you and scrape up beside you. All right. So when I catch, you're going to come up and around, nine, ten. It's flat over my head. I push the cradle 11 and 12. I adjust my grip in my right hand. So from here, it's coming down. And then from here, I just move my thumb from this side of it where it's wrapping and then move it to the other side where my fingers are. That way I have a better grip in cradle. And then from here, we lift up Susie Sunshine. All right. Now, the last eight counts, you're going to scoop up one and two and. This is out of your toaster, so it's in the 45. So I'm going to push forward one and two. I grab, it's behind me over my head, and I just switch my right hand so both my thumbs are going up towards the silk. Now from here, I do a cone in the upper space, so it's going to be higher than usual, right? So usually we do cones with the chest, so I want this, the epicenter of this cone to be at your forehead, so it's going to be much higher. So from here, we're going to do three, four. Ooh, that was terrible. Three and four. There we go. Now, from here, we're going to do a slam. So you do want to slice. So from here, take a direct path from this upper 45 to this lower 45. So you should be drawing a line right through the middle, like Zorro, Z for Zorro. You guys probably don't know what that means. Um, but just think of a direct path from this upper 45 to the lower 45, like connecting corners of a cube. So from here, we go five, hold six. All right. So my left arm is right by my left temple, temple and my right arm is pushing across. I turn over my right shoulder, seven, eight. All right. Now I'm at a, a right slam, so my right hand's on my right hip. I lift up, one, two, vertical slide, right hand meets the left hand, three, four, everything comes down. I push back with my right hand, five, six, it's flat, and I'm looking that direction, seven, eight, my focus is down. Now from here, both of my hands are on the bottom tape, my right hand slides up my left arm, past my neck, and this is the position you want to be. So my fingertips are on my shoulder and my elbows open up all the way to the side so we can see that full shape. All right, from the top with counts, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, third, fourth, fifth, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, third, fourth, fifth, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, up, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, third, fourth, fifth, six, one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, 